A family in Georgia is awaiting a state Supreme Court ruling that would allow a long awaited murder trial to go forward in the death of Tara Grinstead. Tara was a teacher and former beauty queen when she disappeared in October of 2005. In this week's 48 Hours, Peter Van Sant dives into the 12 year old mystery and how authorities may have missed leads that could have potentially solved the case soon after Tara vanished. From the day Tara Grinstead disappeared from her home in 2005, the small town of Osceola, Georgia has been consumed with one question. What really happened to Tara Grinstead? Neighbor Janice Polk. Tara Grinstead was a very well-liked high school teacher. Tara also competed in beauty pageants, later mentoring other young women. That's what she was doing on the morning of October 22, 2005, the day she disappeared, recalls her best friend, Maria Woods Harbor. And after the pageant, she went to a cookout, went home, and then nobody's seen her since. For years, the case remained a mystery. But this man, John McCullough, says that back in 2007, he tried to share with authorities information that he believed could have solved the case. He says a buddy he met in the Army named Bo Dukes told him he knew who killed Tara. He had told me that his friend accidentally strangled her and he needed help getting rid of the body. So you call the police department? This is John McCullough. I know who killed Tara Grinstead. Does anyone call you back? No. But a decade later, this woman, Brooke Sheridan, came forward with a similar story, also from Bo Dukes, then her boyfriend. Bo told her his friend Ryan Duke had murdered Tara during a robbery. The two men had similar names, but were not related. He said, I can't handle it anymore. And he starts telling me everything. Bo told Brooke that he had nothing to do with Tara's death but had helped his friend Ryan burn Tara's body in a pecan orchard. I said, you need to confess. You need to own up to what you've done and confess. Based on what Bo told investigators, Ryan Duke was arrested for Grinstead's murder. He pleaded not guilty and is awaiting trial. In March 2019, Bo Dukes was convicted on charges relating to covering up the crime and sentenced to 25 years in prison. But Tara's friend Maria believes that the whole truth hasn't been told. I believe that Ryan and Bo Duke were both in this together. Peter Van Zant joins us now to discuss more about this case because we have so many more questions. It's a fascinating case, Peter, and you've been covering this one for over a decade. What is Ryan Duke's side of the story? Well, his side of the story has been evolving. Uh, back in 2017, according to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, Ryan admitted killing Tara. Uh, he said that he was high on drugs when he went into her house. He wanted to steal her purse. But now his defense team has publicly announced that that confession is false and that at trial, Ryan will point the finger at Bo Duke, saying that he is the killer even though there was no physical evidence linking Bo to Tara's murder, and that latex glove that was found on Tara's property has Ryan's DNA in it. Interesting. So what happened to the tips back in 2007? Uh, this is what really drives you crazy in all of this. You heard John McCullough in, in, in the piece that just ran. Uh, there was another tipster you will learn during the course of this who overheard Bo and Ryan at a party talking about disposing of Tara's body. That was reported to local authorities, but sadly, no one ever followed up. And the fact is, if they had, this case might have been solved in a matter of weeks instead of years. Uh, but it is still ongoing. And so when will Ryan Duke go on trial, do you think? Well, that trial right now is on hold while his defense team is going to be arguing some motions with the Georgia State Supreme Court. Those hearings may begin sometime in January, and the hope is there will be a trial sometime in 2021. All right, Peter Van Sant, thank you very much for that update on that case that you've been following for over a decade now. And you can catch Peter's 48 Hours Report, the Tara Grinstead Mystery, Saturday night at 10, 9 central on CBS.